Hello, this is Ghost Rider 615, and I'm here to ask a question. Why do we believe that the people who oppress us will tell us the truth about anything? I was so embarrassed when I started reading and looking up my history about how much I did not know. And the thing that really bothered me was that I believe the people who were telling me what my history was, was the truth. So this video comes on the heels of a realization that my oppressor knows my history better than I do because he took it from me. And he has walked in it and assumed my identity and portrayed my heritage and ancestral uh, culture to the world. Which makes me wonder that we must not be the degenerate people that he says that we are. Because if they were willing to assume our ancestral identity and heritage, they wouldn't make movies like Solomon and Cleopatra, Moses and the Ten Commandments, playing the roles of Egyptians, which we all now know were black people, melanated people. Why would you want to take over a continent where the people and the land and culture was beneath you? or were you beneath them and using them to establish your own identity and also to establish your world, your European world. Right now, France and all, a lot of other countries take billions of dollars out of Africa, and they also take the resources and they're really trying to recolonize Africa. We say that we don't have a connection, some of us, to Africa, but if Africa is not free, neither are we. I have something I wanna read to you and it's about the way that we used to live in a community and what I saw my grandfather do, and it's called the garden. Fresh from my grandfather's garden, the community did stop. Once there, they could swap and shop. He was always willing to add to someone else's table. And one of the reasons he did this was so he would be able so how do we return to the ways of the ancestors? Because today, others look at us like court justice. Love, community, and caring, while at the same time sharing, since we are always mocking, laughing, and comparing. First, start repairing ourselves. Stop sitting around like bookshelves, and the significance of what it tells Every other mammal but the black man is in danger of being extinct without a plan. But in our case, our annihilation is the strategy in this land. Second, economics is the key. For over 500 years, we have been waiting at heaven's door, holding on for a financial score. Tell me, who is coming to save us? There is no one we can trust. Lastly, freedom does not come free. Sometimes there must be bloodshed. Shucks, we already act dead. Like Malcolm X, what leader will be next? The same as rubber from the Congo, no, they will not let us go. So awaken ancestors and lead the way. Set us up for a long-awaited payday. For your children have been led astray. Wake up for our problems 
will not just go away. So I hope that you take these uh, comments and may let them marinate in your, your mind and start seeing what's right in front of your face. But one thing that I will hope I inspire is to, for us to learn more about our history, ourselves. Thank you. This is Ghost Rider 615.